Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So in this video we're looking at the A500 Mini and how to get a larger USB stick such as 128 gig to work on your A500 Mini using FAT32. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so as you probably know or not know that you can only really use smaller memory cards, uh, 32 gig and below with your A500 mini um, because of FAT32, it will only um, format cards at that size or USB stick, sorry. Um, but you can actually use larger sticks um, such as this one, it's a Sony Integral and it's um, 128 gig and it is possible to actually use this now realistically you only really need about a 32 gig or 16 gig uh, USB stick as that is plenty but if you need a larger card for instance if you've got Pandora then this would probably be quite helpful because you'll probably start to amass quite a collection of games and ROMs to add to your stick so this is a way how to actually use this on your A500 Mini Okay guys, once you've got your uh, USB stick inserted into your laptop or PC, whatever you're actually using, um, go to this site here called Rufus. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this site. Um, and all you need to do is actually download this application. Rufus, here it's here, Rufus 3.18 as this time of this video. It'll automatically download the .exe file. Just open the file. And just click yes, and it should automatically find the, the card that's in your drive. If not, you can actually select it. Um, but obviously, it's picked up. It's a 128 gig Sony uh, USB stick. Then change this option to non-bootable. Um, you can leave this. That's absolutely fine. Uh, that's obviously for using if you want to use it as a disk or ISO image. But in this instance, all you're doing is just falling down, it should be fine. Make sure this is a large FAT32. Um, you can leave that 32 kilobytes or 64. I'd really use it as the default. And that's it. Then you just click start and it'll ask if you know, it's going to destroy everything on it. There's nothing on it anyway. So just click OK and let it do its thing. Now, this probably just creates a few partitions up to the size uh, of your memory card, but it makes it completely workable on your A500 Mini. Whereas previously you could probably only use Windows version which only formats the XFAT which doesn't work with the A500 Mini. So as you can see there we go, we have got our cards sorted. The next thing you need to do is go to um, the A500 Mini retrogames.biz website um, at the WHD load section. I'll leave a link in the description. Download that package and put that onto your USB stick. I'll show you how that one running now. So once you've unzipped it, um, you'll get this A500 folder which looks a bit like that. All you need to do is really drop that onto your USB stick. It should only take a couple of seconds and that is it. Now what you need to do is add some games to your stick. Now you have to be careful and probably put it into maybe folders. If you're downloading lots of games, You've got a, a sort of limit of 256 lines, I think, per folder. So bear that in mind. If you can't just drop thousands of ROMs into the one sort of folder, it will not pick them all up. So make sure you maybe put them in AZ folders. I've already done a video on this, so I'll leave that link in the description so you can follow it. But from now, you can maybe just add anything, add a games folder, ADF folder, whatever you see fit. Okay, guys, once you've actually created your games folder, um, you are good to go. Like I say, I wouldn't recommend dropping all your games into one folder. You need to put them into A to Z format or something like that so that you can actually see them all. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to add some ROMs. I'm going to uh, show you it working on the A500 Mini. Okay, guys, once you've got your A500 Mini plugged on, get your USB stick and put it into the back of your A500 Mini. And it should hopefully automatically come up. Then you can select it and you're pretty much good to go, no error messages anymore um, as you would probably have got before if you were formatted to XFAT because that does, does not work and this isn't even a sand disk, it's just really a Sony USB stick and it it works absolutely fine as you can see and just go through the games now as I said before don't just dump your games like this I would recommend sorting them into folders of some sorts because you've got a limit of 256 games or lines to the one folder so Separate them out with a little bit of care.
you guys, so that's basically it. That's all you need to do, um, and you're pretty much good to go. You can start using your larger memory cards. Now, I think realistically, for most people, a 16 gig or 32 gig will be absolutely fine. It's more than enough to handle a lot of games. I mean, talking thousands of games. But when you start to sort of download things like a Mini Mega, Pandora, and um, the other one, AGS2, you'll probably start to find that the 32 gig is probably not quite enough. Um, if you've got all of them, for example, especially Pandora, you will probably need a bigger memory card if you start to download ROMs for other sort of formats that maybe are just a little bit larger than Amiga files, for example. Um, so yeah, that larger memory card would come in handy for that. Um, this game I'm playing is Kid Chaos. I would recommend it. It's really good fun to actually play. Um, it's great stuff. I really enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching our video today. Please like, subscribe, and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.